everybody, welcome to the XUCPA channel. In this video, we will be discussing with you one of the common questions that we receive from clients these days. How did President Trump only pay $750 of taxes when he's clearly a rich businessman? Okay, a few disclaimer. Number one, this is not about who is right, who is wrong. Number two, we have no access to the president's 1040 just like anyone else. Number three, we actually took the sources from New York Times, Market Watch, CBS News, and what we want to do here is to analyze is it possible for a millionaire to not pay any taxes at all. Reason number one, Trump top businesses are losing money and those losses have helped him stream his federal tax bill to essentially nothing. So as you know, as a business owner, there are some years that you might be profitable and there's some, there might be some years that it's, they are just bad years and it could, you know, it could be possible that some years is actually losing money. What that means to you or how that translates to you is that, you know, if you have losses in business, then you actually don't have taxable income. Second point, you know, most commercial real estate developers deduct large interest payments. So what does that mean? As you know, he has empire, he has hotels, he has a lot of buildings and it is very possible because he has to finance those buildings and those loans will generate a lot of interest payments and in years where his income is actually low, all these interest payments could very well offset his income. Typically, you know, business owners uh, also often avoid capital gain taxes by applying profits from the sale of one building into purchase of another. So from this article from Market Watch, it is saying that, you know, if you have an empire of different real estate and if you uh, want to sell one, you know, hotel and then in exchange or sell one business building in exchange of another, you can often do a 1031 exchange where you defer your capital gain tax to the future by purchasing another real estate building. Okay. the. Third point is that the president has frequently pointed to his hotels, golf courses, resorts as evidence of his success. Yet these properties have been draining money. Again, this is tie back. This ties back to our first point: draining money. What does that mean by draining money? It means a lot of expenses, a lot of upkeep, a lot of maintenance, a lot of payroll, and because of that, he has no taxable income on his tax return. Point number four: you know, President Trump has claimed three hundred fifteen million in losses since year 2000 and his Trump International Hotel in Washington has lost 55 million. Now whether that is true or not, we're not here to comment this video, we don't want to comment about that but you know in logical sense, you know if your business is incurring losses then yes you actually don't have to pay taxes. Last point, you know Mr. Trump wrote off about 26 million in consulting fees as business expense across many of his projects. So what this is saying is that you know consulting fees such as professional related or uh, services that you pay for by hiring contractors or uh, engineering fees or uh, you know it could be legal fees or uh, uh, many other kinds of you know consultation that you need in your business if it's related to your business it is actually deductible expenses and therefore it will offset the income that you have earned and it could land you in situation where there's actually no reportable profit so hopefully you learned something from today's video is it possible for a millionaire to not pay any taxes at all yes absolutely it is very possible the bottom line is that you cannot show any reportable profits from your business on your personal tax return when you file your tax return. So this is a channel we strive to provide you know, business owners as much information as possible from the accounting and tax tips standpoint. And if you like to support us, we'll appreciate if you like, share and subscribe to this channel and we will see you soon. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.